Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Komna Ibrahim. I'm an uh, app developer from Hispa, Western South Africa. So, this morning we will show you uh, our report builder app and we'll show you how it's work and uh, how we uh, did it. Okay. So, we will present you a little bit the apps and after that we will jump to the demo. Okay. So what is uh, the report builder app? Okay, uh, please, do you see my screen? Yes, I can see it, uh, see it well. Okay, thank you. So the report builder app, uh, it is an app uh, that allows for generating a report based on uh, aggregate or uh, tracker data. So the user also have the ability to design their own form using a HTML editor. So that means if uh, you want to have uh, uh, like a report in which you want to display some information, with this app, you can uh, create this report and uh, you can display uh, the data from aggregates or data from tracker. Okay. So you, ha you have also the ability to create your own reports or uh, make a uh, uh, HTML outside of the app and come and paste in the app and uh, make the configuration. You can also uh, customize the legend. So you can decide to display the result as image or as color or as label. So it is uh, a legend. So you have also the possibility to send SMS uh, to a, a person. And uh, you can also print uh, your, your report in PDF file. Okay, so I will show you some uh, example. Okay, so that is uh, an example for a tracker case. So this example is a student card. So you can see uh, in this uh, student card, we have uh, the information of uh, students. We have uh, his name, uh, his surname, date of birth, sex, and so on, and even, uh, even uh, the, the school name, you see? And uh, you can also see uh, we have uh, uh, the place where you can create, uh, design your, your report. Okay, so that is an uh, example of uh, uh, a tracker data. So let us continue. This is uh, also another report, and uh, there you can see we have uh, aggregated data there. And uh, it is, uh, the, the things there, uh, we can see we have uh, the image there. That is because uh, rather than display the value, we have uh, decided to display image. So the image is uh, a legend. So as I already said, you can display uh, image or color or label. Okay, you know with me, uh, sometimes the image is more easy to understand. So if uh, you show this report to another person, they can quickly understand uh, what uh, this report means. Okay, so that is uh, the case of uh, aggregate data. Okay, so there we have uh, the legend uh, part where you can configure it or uh, create your legend and uh, use the created legend to display uh, in uh, your report. So there you can see uh, some example of uh, the, the legend uh, creation there. Okay, okay, let us continue. There also uh, it is uh, where you, you, can, you will uh, create your uh, SMS template because if, if you want to send uh, a, a message to students, you need to send uh, uh, something. So there you can you can, you can uh, configure it, your message to send. So uh, in your message, you can decide to to insert uh, uh, some attributes. So the app will uh, make an interpretation before send a uh, send uh, the SMS to students. Okay. So. Uh, that is a, a little bit a presentation. So uh, we, we will going to 
to the demo. Okay, so before the demo, I don't know if uh, some have one have uh, the question. And no questions are in, are in yet, and you can you can continue if you want. Okay, thank you. So uh, let us see. Uh, let me refresh the page. Okay, that is uh, the interface of uh, the report uh, builder app. So you can see at the left side, you have some menu there. You have a report, uh, the current menu. We have uh, the design menu. Uh, uh, there uh, you will create your report. We have uh, a legend menu uh, there. You will create your legend. So I will show you how you can create uh, it uh, very soon. So we have also this menu, SMS config. There you will create uh, your, your SMS templates. Okay, so quickly let us uh, come back on the report and uh, show you uh, what I already said in the presentation. So uh, there, uh, if you are there, that means you already yeah. created your, your report. Yes, no, no. Please. And um, someone was unmuted. Yeah, you can you can continue. Okay, thank you. Okay, so if you are in this page, that means you already create your report. If uh, uh yeah, you already create your report. So you just need to come there, uh, select your report. For example, let us take uh, a student card. Okay, you select your report like that, and now uh, first you can see the the report there. Now you will select uh, the program. So you can see you have just one program. It's because uh, uh, when we are creating our report, uh, it is just uh, this program we are, uh, we are used to configure the report. So automatically the app uh, detect uh, the available program in the report and display it to you there. Okay. If uh, you have uh, uh, yeah, more than one report, a, a more than one program in your report, the application will list uh, uh, this report to you there. Okay, so you will select your program like that. And now the organization unit, uh, there it is where the app will uh, fetch a T. Okay, uh, in our case, I will select uh, Gambia. Okay, like that. And okay. Now, uh, you will uh, click on this button to search all TE like that, okay? We have a lot of TE, but you can also filter uh, the students. Let me close this, okay? You have uh, this option, search by attribute. So if I select this, I can open like that, okay? And I can select the attribute that if I select one, two, three, at the top, you can see you have uh, the the field there, and uh, you can you can enter your text uh, in the field there. Okay, so in our case, uh, we will uh, search students uh, by just uh, his surname. Let me remove uh, these two attributes and keep just a surname. Okay, and uh, let me search Ibrahim. like that and you will click on this button okay uh, no it is not the right it is a uh, by his first name excuse me okay ibrahim like that okay yeah you have a one t and uh, at the end of the table you can see this button report so you need to click on this button and uh, they will uh, populate our report for us, okay? In the report, you can see the image of uh, Ibrahim, uh, his surname, his first name, uh, and so forth, sex, uh, class, and so forth. Even uh, his uh, school name there, okay? And there, with this button, you can send SMS, okay? If I click on this button, you can see no SMS template configured. That is why I, uh, that is what I already said. You must create the SMS to send to this student. 
So the SMS or the upper will use uh, the attribute phone, phone number to send SMS. Okay. So if you are you have uh, the number in this attribute, so the the app will send to this number. Okay. So uh, let me show you quickly uh, the SMS template. Let me duplicate uh, this page like that. Okay. Okay, quickly. Okay. There, this menu, SMS config. There, you can uh, create your SMS template there. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, you can see hello. Okay. Or uh, you can also uh, uh, write uh, or customize your SMS outside of this application in uh, a, a, a HTML file. Okay. And it, you just need to come there and uh, paste your HTML file there. So for example, uh, let us write like that. Hello, I will create a spam quickly like that and put uh, uh, maybe his surname, surname like that, okay? Suppose that you, you design your uh, template outside in a HTML file and you come and paste it like that. You will click like that. You see, hello surname, if you click there, you will select the attributes, okay? First, the program, uh, let me take, uh, uh, let me take this, okay? And now the attributes, we have a first name or surname, like that. And if you click add, so they will replace uh, uh, our value like that. So, and uh, when you, are, you, you, you will send the SMS, the app will uh, uh, replace this attribute by the name, the surname of a student and send it uh, uh, using this number, the phone attribute number, okay? That is uh, the SMS uh, part. Uh, so uh, of course, uh, you must uh, configure it first uh, the gateway in your instance. Uh, actually, we don't have uh, a gateway configured it, so we can't uh, uh, send it. Okay, so let me show you quickly uh, how you can design. Uh, uh, let me continue first. Hello? Yeah, you uh, were gone for a second. Okay, sorry. So let me continue with uh, the aggregate example. Okay, let me duplicate this page. Again, okay. So uh, again, uh, let me take uh, uh, this report, uh, this report. So it is a uh, aggregate case, okay. In this report, uh, you can you can see we have uh, a lot of information there. So there, you must select uh, the period, but first you need uh, the period type. So if you click, you will click in this uh, field, you can see we have a three type there, daily, monthly, and yearly. Uh, in our uh, example, let me take uh, yearly, okay? Now you will select the period. For example, let me take uh, 2020, okay? Uh, 2021, like this. Now you will select uh, the organization units, okay? You will select it like that, and uh, you see the organization unit three. Let me search Albion like this, okay? Albion, and you need to click on OK button. Now you will update information like that. And you can see our report is uh, failing. Okay? Okay. So there you can see we have image. So uh, at the left, left side, you can see we have the value, but there in the table, you can see we have the image and uh, it is a different image. So, so uh, each image have uh, his own signification. So I will uh, uh, also explain you very soon. Okay. So that is uh, the aggregate case. Okay. And uh, so now you can print, print the report by clicking on this button. Print the report, okay? 
and it is a, a PDF file. If I click save, and you can give her the name and save it. Okay, like this. Yeah, of course. Okay. So let me also show you another report where uh, in which we can have uh, uh, all keys. So the legend, a, uh, the color, the image, and the label. Because I already said in the presentation that for the legend, we can have image. We can also have color and uh, label. Let me, for example, let me take uh, this report. Okay, uh, this report, okay. And uh, let me take uh, 2020, 2020, like this, okay? For the arg units, let me take uh, Cambia, like this, okay? So what will happen there? So we have uh, this uh, this uh, place, it is, it must be a color. This must be image and this must be label, okay? Let me generate uh, the report and you can see. Uh, if uh, you decide to display rather than image or value, the, the, the color, you will have it like this. If it is image, you will have it like this. And if it is label, you will have it like this. So very soon I will show you how you can create the legend. But for now, uh, suppose that you already have a legend and what, and that is uh, the results, okay? And uh, at, the, at the top, we have the dates there. The dates, the selected dates. If uh, I select, uh, for example, 2019 uh, and update, okay, you can see the color uh, has changed and the period also. Now we have 2019, okay? That is the example. Now we also have something. If I take uh, 20, uh, 21 okay and i update you can see uh, normally this place we must uh, have uh, the image but we have the value and uh, we have got uh, this warning you try to display some new image that has not uh, been configured for the selected period so it's because in the legend i i didn't configure it, the image for this legend so i I will show you uh, uh, very soon. So let us quickly jump to the report, how we, we can create our report. And after that, we will come uh, back on how you can create the legend. Okay. So to create uh, uh, the report, uh, again, uh, let us duplicate this page again. Okay. So it's uh, this menu, the design, okay. We have the list of uh, the report there, okay? Let us, uh, uh, if uh, you, you want to create a new, a new report, you will, you need to create, and you click, uh, you need to click on this button, new report like this, okay? And there you can design your report like this. So you can put the test name, uh, maybe surname, and there you will uh, select your value. So you can also, uh, uh, because uh, rather than uh, create your report using this builder, okay, you can create outside of this app. So in uh, the HTML file, you, cost, you customize uh, very well your report and you come, you click on this icon, you paste your HTML code there. And automatically the the, this builder will uh, interpret the HTML, okay? So uh, let me close this and show you uh, already a, 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 a report. So let me take this report, you will see. Yeah, this report, for example, okay? So we have uh, this report, okay? If you want to insert data, okay? For example, you want to insert data, you will, uh, so suppose that uh, you are creating your report, or you already create your report outside and you come, you paste the, it there, okay? You will select in uh, the place, okay? You will click on this button. So there, 
uh, you will select all of your element that you want to use to populate your report. Okay. Uh, for example, let me select all. Okay, like this. Okay, and uh, you will close uh, this uh, pop up. It is just to select the uh, the elements. Okay. Now, at the right side, you can see you have uh, a lot of section there, and you can see you have uh, that elements. The some list there. We have indicator some list there. Data set also. Okay. Okay. So there you must select now your your elements. Suppose that there at this place I want to insert a data element. Okay. You must click on the place where you want to select. You want to insert the element. Okay. Now you will click on the element like this. Okay. Now you have uh, a new pop-up there. Now they ask us uh, to select the org units. Okay, you will click on this field. Now you have some list there. We have first uh, the current organization unit. Now we have uh, something like parent one, parent two, parent three, parent four. So this is uh, uh, dynamic. So first uh, uh, it, uh, it generates it based on the available organization unit level. So that means if you have uh, more than four organization unit level, they will, uh, uh, they will generate uh, using uh, the number of uh, organization unit level. Okay. So you must select your organization unit level. So for example, I will select this current organization unit. So what does uh, this mean? Current organization unit level mean, uh, no, it's not level, please, uh, excuse me. It is uh, organization units. So that means if you select this, uh, let me show you there, okay, for example, okay. If you select like this, you see in, a, in this case, we, we have select Gambia. That is uh, the current organization, organization units the selected organization unit. It is uh, the current organization unit. Now, if you select parent one, that means if we come back there, when you select your other unit there, the app will uh, go up one time and take uh, the organization unit. Suppose that I take Albion like that, okay, this. Okay, the parent when it mean uh, the app will go up and take Albion LBS admin. This, you see. Okay, now the parent two mean the app will go up two times. Okay, first time and second time and take bundle for us and so of parent three, parent four, parent uh, until parent four. Yeah. Okay, so that is uh, the signification of uh, uh, the parent and the, the current organization unit. Okay, suppose that in our case, uh, uh, you want to uh, put a, get the data for this tool, uh, for the selected organization unit. So in this case, we need to select the current organization unit like that. Okay, for a moment, let us keep uh, this uh, selected uh, or this field. I will come back uh, it uh, soon. Now we have uh, the way we want to display our result. So we have value and legend. If we take value, that means, uh, let me come back there, okay? That means uh, we will have the result like this. It is not a legend, it's just uh, the pure value uh, which is come from uh, the result, our result, okay? But if you take the legend, that means you will select your legend. Of course, that means you already uh, configured your legend and then you will just need to come and select your legend. Okay. For example, uh, uh, let me, okay, no. For example, let me take this, okay. And uh, you will click on okay. You see, you have uh, some label there. There's the elements and uh, the, the organization unit, it is the code which is displayed there, okay? So that 
that is uh, what uh, we are done there in this report. So let me uh, show you for a legend. Suppose that there, we want to display a legend there, okay? I select the place, you select the elements, you select parent one or parent two, uh, you know, okay, let me take a parent two, for example, okay? Now there, I will select a legend, okay? I click on legend, and now you will select your created legend, okay? Uh, suppose that is this legend, okay? Now we have a new field there. Choose the legend to display, okay? If I click there, you can see we have color, we have label, we have, we have image and the pie chart. So let us uh, leave uh, for a pie chart, okay? And uh, just keep uh, the three first, okay? We have color, label, and image. So we, you will select one of them color for example and you will click on okay now you see the the the, the display we have the elements you have the organization you need to go there parent two and now the name of the legend now behind how it's work they write it in uh, html attributes okay so i will show you also it very soon and uh, that is the case of a pure value and uh, a legend. That we have done in this report there, okay? There we have uh, selected the elements, you have selected the organization units, you have selected our legend, and now the, the legend type. There it is color, there it is image, you can see image, and there it is label, okay? That is what, uh, that is uh, the result we have there. Now you have also the, the, the periods. Let me show you for the period. Okay, uh, suppose that uh, you want to insert period. Let me take just one case, a uh, one table, uh, yeah, like this. Okay, I click on, I click, uh, I, I will select the place where I want to insert the periods, okay. Now let me uh, close uh, the section like this, okay? We have this section, other elements. If I open it, you can see you have uh, organization unit level, uh, uh, sorry, organization unit name and the dates. The name mean uh, the school name and uh, this is uh, the selected dates, okay? So what we have there, you have uh, the selected date there. Now, you just need to click in the place. You select the elements like this, okay, the dates. That is what we have done there at this place. You just select the place and you select the elements. And uh, automatically, if we come to the generate a page, we select the needs element there and we click on the generate, you will have uh, our period and other elements. Okay, you see? Okay, so uh, let me show you now how you can create the legend. Okay, okay, so uh, let me duplicate again. Uh, uh, let me refresh this page and show you how you can create the legend. So uh, quickly, it is a legend menu, okay? You will need to, to click on this button, new legend, like this, okay? Now you must create like a, a legend set, okay? Uh, first, let me take like this, okay? Let me uh, select, uh, so you must select the start and the end. The end is optional, so I will explain you uh, why it is like that, okay? Or what uh, does it mean? So for example, let me take uh, the 1st January 2022. 1st January 2022, like that. And at the end, uh, it is uh, December, uh, of course, 2022, December 31, like this, okay? We have the start, 1st January to 31 December, like this. Now you will save 
intelligence set like this. Now you need to create the item. Quickly, you will click, click on this edit like this, and you will generate the item. It is the same thing like uh, the what we have in GSS2. Okay, you will select this, the min value and the max value. For example, uh, 100. And uh, you will select uh, the interval, uh, for example, four. And you will click on the generate legend like this. We can see they generate as a uh, item. Okay. And uh, now you will edit each item like this. Okay. Now we have the name. Of course, you can change the name. Okay. Now we will select the image and the color. For example, I will select this quickly, okay, like this, and this, the color, okay? After that, you will click on this. You see, we have the color and we have the image. It is the same thing for others. So let me show you uh, existing legend and I will explain you very quickly, okay? Let me take uh, this legend, Ibrahim legend, okay? like this, okay? Now, there you can see we have just a start date, but we don't have uh, the end date. That means, so if, uh, uh, if that means if uh, we have the legend like this, uh, so let me first explain this. You will uh, understand uh, more easy. Okay, the first, the, the, the start date and the end date mean when we, we are there, okay? We are there with the period, the app will take the legend corresponding to the selected period there. For example, in our case, I select 2022, uh, 2020. That means the app will come there, okay? And you take the legend, this legend set 2020. 20. So the 20 Jan uh, the first January of uh, uh, this year and uh, 31 December of this year. They will take this period a uh, period set for us. If I open it, you can see uh, that is the item. Okay. So you see the way how we we we, we got the value there. It's because uh, the this the, the app selects the appropriate legend for us. Okay, so twenty twenty we have this color red and some information there. Okay, and uh, there uh, let us take uh, twenty twenty. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, no, it is not uh, the right legend. It's not, sorry, it's not the right legend. Uh, okay, this uh, 2021, for example. No, sorry, uh, I'm lost. Yeah. Let me refresh first the page. Okay, quickly. Uh, okay, I select the report like this, the period. Okay. The organization unit like this okay let me take uh, this period yeah this period okay now let me come back there okay it is this legend okay it is a uh, this legend ah, yeah it is this legend. you can see you have this image and if i come back there okay there you have this image there if uh, you can see, we have also the red color. You can see also the red color there. That means the app take the, the, the this legend 2019. You see, if I select another period, 2020, like this, okay, the app will take this period for us 2020 and uh, make uh, his check using uh, the item on present there. Okay, this period. You see, that's we have we have there. You can see the image and the color. Okay, and the label. It is bad. If I come back, it is bad. 
Okay, that's it is the, that is the explication of of uh, this kind of uh, pilot set. Now, now for the first, the the first one, which uh, has a which has not uh, have the end bits. That means the app will uh, consider from the the, the start bit until uh, now. That means if I select, okay, for example, if I select 20, 23, okay, like this, okay, you can see in the in this legend or in this uh, period set, we don't have a uh, 20, 23 legends, but we have our results there. It is because the app will consider this period until today. So that means if you don't have uh, a, the end date, automatically the app will consider uh, the start date until uh, the current date. Okay. So quickly, uh, let us uh, go to uh, so the, the time also. Okay. So quickly, let us go to the data store. Okay. Quickly. Okay. So there it is the data store. I want to show you how we we insert data in data store. Okay, it, let me open. This is the data store key. Okay, there we have this key, the legends. Yeah, we have some list there. We just have the name, the ID, and uh, the the period there. But you can see we have a lot of key there. Legend underscore uh, some uh, ID there. Okay, some ID there like this. So you can also see we have the image as base one card. If uh, when you, you are configured your, your, your legend, the, the image is storage as base one card string in data store. And uh, each key corresponding to each element for the legend or for, it, for the report, you see? You have also for report there. So uh, you can see you have this prefix, rep report underscore, or legend underscore, you see? So each item is storage as a, a new key in the data store. And uh, we have uh, the, the list itself there. So, and, uh, so if uh, we come back in, there, for example, in uh, the design part, we just get the list from this key. This uh, report, let me show you the report. This key, the report, we just have uh, this list there, but the content, we get it uh, there, you see? Okay, so quickly, let, us, uh, let me show you uh, uh, the tool you have used. Okay, so for the tools, okay, so we have a user uh, fetch and Asios. So quickly, uh, let me show you uh, the source code. Okay, a second. There, for example, there. Okay, let me open uh, the first, this first function. Do you see the screen? Uh, maybe I can. Uh, uh, zoom it. Yeah, we can see it, but it's indeed a little small. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, okay. So uh, in our code, we use uh, Asios and Fetch for our request. Okay, if I'm, I'm going to this function, you can see we have uh, Asios for the request. So uh, that is uh, just a, a, a example of uh, our request. Okay, so uh, you can see we have also uh, this. Uh, uh, this we, we we put our key in M file. This file, okay. We put our our data store key there and also the app name there, and we use it in in our function. Uh, this function, we use it like that. You see, so. I want to also uh, notify something in our code structure. You can see we we didn't have a lot of code there, a lot of uh, file there. And also, if I take uh, this file up, 
app.js, we have a lot of code. It is because in the past, uh, uh, in the past at this time, we we were we were need to to deliver this app very quickly, and uh, the delay also was uh, very small, and also the idea uh, it was uh, it just was a simple idea. Okay, that is why we have begun with uh, this way. That's why you have begun with this way. Now, during the time, uh, uh, the, the idea and uh, the future was growing and uh, uh, until now. So that's why we have a lot of code in one file. And uh, you can see we didn't have uh, a lot of uh, file in the, in the project. So we plan to the next version to split uh, the, this code to make it more light and uh, more optimized. And also you can see we, we didn't use uh, uh, the access to data query. It is, uh, as I already said in the past, uh, the idea was very basic, very simple. That's why you are just take uh, this way to develop uh, the app. So we, of course we have uh, the link, our repository link, okay? So uh, I, I will uh, show you uh, the link, okay? So let, let me go into the link. Let me copy the link, new tab, okay, like this. So there is uh, our repository where, where uh, you, can, you can see the source code, okay? So uh, quickly, let me continue, okay? Okay, so our UI component, so you are using uh, some component of GSH2, okay? And also Ant Design. So for Ant Design, we are using it. Uh, let me show you where we are using it uh, quickly. If I'm, I'm come back there, okay? This component, this uh, organization unit component tree. So it is Ant Design. And also for uh, the legend part, uh, you see the way where we, we are create this component, the period component, it is also on design. It is because, uh, so the HS2, the HS2 uh, have the period components, but it's not uh, uh, easy like uh, for ANT. That is why we are user, we are used ANT for this component, okay? So quickly, uh, we have also used uh, the React color and uh, you see uh, how we are also uh, insert the color, okay? If I'm come back there, this, this, yeah, yeah, this color pic picture. So we have used uh, the React color to build uh, these components, okay? So quickly, we are also use uh, DGS for our date formatting. Now, our builder, it is a summer notes. So our builder, this builder, it is summer notes. Okay, and also uh, our icon, we are using uh, React icon for our icon. So uh, the time is very, <laughs> okay, I think uh, I done. If uh, you have question, thank you.